Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy spaghetti carbonara. I'm so excited. It's, uh, it's like one of my favorite things to make. It's so quick, so fast and so simple. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Two large eggs and an egg yolk, all at room temperature. One teaspoon of olive oil. Three tablespoons of thickened cream. About 150 grams of pancetta. Now this is essentially bacon that hasn't been smoked. Of course you can use bacon as well, just chop it very finely. But pancetta is what you use in traditional carbonara. One very small garlic clove, even just half a garlic clove, chopped finely. One small brown onion, diced finely. About one third cup of very finely grated Parmesan cheese. Now make sure this is very finely grated on like a microplane because if you have big chunks of Parmesan cheese, it's not gonna make the sauce very nice and cheesy. It's gonna be a bit lumpy. 250 grams of dried spaghetti noodles. And then extra Parmesan cheese on top because yum. And you're going to need a lot of black pepper, about two or so tablespoons worth, but you add it to your liking. I just recommend so much pepper, but don't add any salt because the cheese and pancetta are very salty. So this is gonna feed about three people who are very, very hungry, um, or in my case, if you have a Jake, uh, it's probably gonna feed two people. You're going to need about 60 to 80 grams of dry pasta per person. That's just a very good gauge for future recipes as well, so 60 to 80 grams of dry pasta. Okay, so what we're going to do first, in a large saucepan, we're going to bring to the boil enough water so that the pasta is completely submerged, season it with about a teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna put our pasta in and let it cook for about nine minutes. Just look at the instructions on your packaging of the pasta, and you wanna cook it about a minute or two under what it recommends to get it al dente. That's basically when the pasta still has a bit of a bite to it. So then while our pasta is cooking, what we're going to do is take our olive oil and we're going to take our pancetta and let it cook in on a medium high heat until it starts to get all nice and brown and delicious. Now you want to make sure that you use a frying pan with high edges. So we're just going to let this cook for about three minutes on medium high heat. So the reason we cook the pancetta first is because there's quite a bit of fat that comes out and then when we cook the onions, they're going to have all that delicious bacony pancetta flavour. Yum! Put some salt in. Make sure that the pasta is fully submerged. And then we're going to let this cook, my pasta says, for about 8 minutes. So as you can see, the pancetta has a nice brown color to it. This is when we're going to add our onions until they're nice and soft. We're gonna let this cook for about four to five minutes. Now, when adding the cracked pepper, this is again to your preference, but do not add any salt because it's already gonna be very salty from the pancetta. So I'm gonna add about probably two teaspoons worth of cracked pepper. And make sure to use freshly cracked pepper. After about five minutes of cooking, we're going to put in our garlic and then let it cook for another minute and a half on a medium heat. Okay, so while our pancetta and spaghetti is cooking, what we're going to do is make our little sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our eggs, cream and cheese into a small little bowl and whisk it all together. And then we're going to add it later, but we want it to be ready for when all the other parts are ready to. So just whisk these together. Alternatively, you can use a fork as well if you don't have a good whisk. Now we're going to add our cream. Yas cream. Um, you can also use uh, just normal whipping cream as well, or just a thicker kind of milk. But I recommend thickened cream because it gives a really nice creamy texture. Cheese. Now remember, you want to use a very fine Parmesan cheese here. 
This will also just help it melt when the heat is on it. And then we're going to add about another two teaspoons of cracked pepper. Again, this is optional, but highly recommended. The pepper really gives a good flavor to this carbonara. You can always add later if you want as well. Now we're going to put it to the side. Okay, so now we've got our pancetta off the heat. I've just drained my pasta noodles. If you've done this in advance, just save a couple tablespoons of the pasta water. That'll help uh, the pasta to not stick. If you've done it straight away, don't worry about it. Um, and then we've got a little egg mixture. And what we're going to do first is put our pasta in the pancetta mixture, swirl it around with some tongs, and then we're going to add our egg mixture very slowly. Oh, it smells so good. See, my noodles aren't sticking together, so I don't need any of the residual hot water. If you find your noodles are sticking together, just add a little bit of water, but mine are perfect. Now, we're only using the residual heat here to cook the egg mixture. If you add this while it's still on the stove, you might get scrambled eggs, which is not what we want. We want a velvety, cheesy sauce on this. So we're just going to slowly add this while we're stirring our pasta. Look, you can see every noodle is coated with a bit of the sauce. That is what you want. Yes. Get it. What we're going to do now is just put it on a large plate and serve it and eat it. I'm so excited. I'm just going to put a little bit of parmesan cheese on top and then some freshly chopped parsley. Okay guys, that's how you make my really quick carbonara. It smells so good and this is more the Italian way. It's not ridiculously creamy like what some of us are used to here in Australia. It just smells so good. I'm so excited to do this. You ready spaghetti? Let's eat it! It smells incredible. You've had carbonara before, yeah? I have had carbonara before. Flavia loves the creamy, I think. I love the creamy bit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like the bacon pancetta, but I am willing to try. Cheers. Cheers! But you see the pepper, mm -hmm. it's not overpowering, but it just brings it all together. It does. That's beautiful. The pancetta is very nice. And the thing is the this kind of carbonara, the pasta is very thinly coated in the sauce. It's not too much, mm. but it just works so well with the pasta. Yeah. And the pancetta gives it that smoky umami. Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah, like if you had more sauce, it would just be too rich, mm. I think. This is just beautiful. But it, this works so nicely and everything's coated and it's delicious and amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.